with the home training camera again? Yeah, absolutely. It's good to be back. It's been a few weeks since we've trained out here and played out here, so everyone's excited to be back. Um, I thought we had a really good attitude, though, in, in Victoria and the time spent there, so um, definitely not complaining or didn't complain at all. None of the boys did, none of our staff or anything, so really proud of the group of the way we uh, conducted ourselves in Victoria and um, it is good to be back though and looking forward to playing Essendon uh, at the Gabba this Saturday night. How's the backfield? Is there much of a concern there? Uh, nah, well I'm playing so um, it's improving sort of every week but uh, yeah I won't go into too much detail but I've put my hand up to play the last few weeks and um, been able to, to get through the game so um, once you do that you deem fit so um, I'm sure there's a lot of guys carrying little things around the comp. Percentage wise, where do you put your bodies right now? Percentage wise? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to hard to uh, put an exact percentage on it. Um, yeah, not a hundred percent, but I think good enough to play. <laughs> <laughs> How would I say it's limiting me? Uh, to be honest, probably the thing that it is affecting the most is my ability to train consistently so that's been the most frustrating part but um, I'm able to play so um, that's also an important thing um, it's not getting worse so um, yeah but probably the most frustrating bit for me is not being able to do full training no I'm able to shelve that um, pretty quickly once I'm out on the field um, I've got a responsibility to perform and, and try and uh, win the, not win the game myself, but win a game of footy with my teammates. So, um, nah, shelf once I'm out on the field. Nah, it should get better um, pretty quickly, hopefully. Uh, probably not any extra compared to um, the previous couple of seasons, to be honest. Um, I'm not playing my best footy at the moment, but uh, I feel like I'm getting towards that. Um, felt like I was a bit cleaner and more involved on the weekend. So, uh, yeah, I don't think the opposition have put any more attention into me as compared to what they did last year or the year before. that contributing to you not playing your best? No. Nah. Uh, we're going okay. We're not at our absolute best, but um, we played three away games in a row. We were really competitive in two of them. Even on the weekend, we were competitive, but um, we just lacked a bit of polish, and um, the Bulldogs tackled really fiercely. They played a great brand of footy and were able to put us to the sword. So um, I think we're still in a really good position. One and three, it's only four rounds into a 22-round season, so um, we've got a good opportunity coming up this Saturday night to hopefully get a win and, and um, yeah, build from there. But um, we don't really want to look too far ahead. Uh, we're still really confident in our group and our ability and, um, yeah, the season's very, very early. Do so I think we have adjusted? Yeah. Uh, certain parts of it. I think we can definitely do better in some aspects of our um, game play and our game plan. Um, there are parts that we're not taking full advantage of, but I think we've adjusted quite well um, for the most part. We've been, we're unlucky not to be two and two, um, but you create your own luck sometimes. So um, round one didn't play well. On the weekend we got beaten by a better team on the day and the other two games have been really competitive and we've played three away games. Um, so we're not in any panic stations at all. We're really confident in what we're doing and um, we're pretty confident that it will turn shortly. Well, you, only, sorry, you only lost three games last year. You've only lost three away games last year and you've only lost three this season. Do you, do you have to win this weekend if you want to finish top four? Because a lot of people think finishing top four is the only way to win premierships. Do we have to win this weekend? To finish top four? No, nah, we don't have to win this weekend to finish top four. It'll make our job a lot harder if we don't. But um, this season, I think you've seen teams uh, like did you predict Sydney to be 4-0 and and sort of Richmond to be 2-2? Two and two? I think they are. Richmond, are they? Um, and they're a great side, so I don't think teams are writing them off and we're one win away from, from where Richmond um, and Geelong are at. They're both 2-2, two and two, I think. So 
Uh, it's very early and team and people are really quick to sort of write off um, teams at this stage of the season and we're certainly not writing ourselves off and who knows how many wins you've got to get to be top four at this stage but um, we're not really looking at that at all but um, it would make it harder if we lose for sure and, and we want to win. Is there anything in the top four teams, I mean you just pretty much listed them off, you guys included that the longer season or the shorter break might be have something to do with the slower start? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't looked too much into it, but um, I think in the last few seasons, Richmond haven't started that well, and then they build and they're playing the best footy by the end of the year. So um, that's something that we can look to, I guess, in the future. But um, at the moment, it's about this week and um, trying to get the win against Essendon Saturday night. What does need to improve to turn things around? Probably our offence, to be honest. We're um, defending quite well, um, limiting teams to... Not too many shots against us, um, but I think our offence, we haven't quite clicked yet and connected as well as, as we have in the past and what we would like to. You're expecting a good game from Joe this weekend? Coming up a little motivated? Yeah, well, he's always motivated. He's, um, he seems really low-key, but he's a, a guy that is really invested in our group, really invested in um, the, t the team performing well, and uh, I'm sure he'll do everything he can to, to play well, but... It's not up to Joe to beat the Bombers. We've seen some interesting uh, sort of reactions from other teams playing against former players so far this season. Which we're all fine with getting hugs and handshakes and other players being booed and targeted. Do you think the Bombers might target him or give him some handshakes and hugs? No idea, but uh, knowing Joe, I'm sure he was well loved by the playing group. Um, he's a great guy and I doubt he would have too many enemies inside the playing group. But um, yeah, we'll wait and see. We'll protect him and get around him if, if need be. But um, yeah, I'm not really sure how the how the Bombers players will um, react to him. I don't know them very well, so um, we'll see what happens. It was the same with you and Frio, but there is something special as a player playing against your old team, isn't there? Yeah, there is. You obviously know quite a few of the guys, and Joe will obviously know most of that playing list and playing group that comes um, to the Gabba on Saturday night. So. Um, it'll be a weird feeling for him, I'm sure, but uh, he's mature enough and played enough footy now that um, he'll just get his head in the game and, and play, I would have thought. Um, he's a pretty relaxed guy, as I said, so I don't think he'll be stressing out too much. But it is, it is quite, it's a weird feeling, it's nice, but also for me it was a little bit daunting coming up against him. But he's a different guy to me, so he'll probably be more relaxed.